Checking angle blocks with the Ferro CMM machine. This is our standard print. We are also going to fill out our traditional check sheet as well as print off the report from the CMM machine. Okay, let's get started right now. To turn this computer on, which is the first one, uh, you just turn it on normally, log in. We're going to turn our machine on. You need to go to, go back here, Econostoga. Go down to our machine, uh, Applied Trades Practice. Go under Content. Scroll down to the last one, in this case it's Feral, which we want, and download this file. Once you have it downloaded to your desktop, double click on it, and the Feral gauge will start. Make sure when you're done, if I forget to show this, shut this thing off, because it burns out the, uh, the encoders. So now when we start, when we turn this on, what we need to do is we need to articulate all of these joint movements. So in this case, I'm going to do, let's say this one first, which is the end here. And then I'm going to turn this, and then I'm going to do this one, and this one, and that one, and then it disappears. Now if I force or push on these, look, there'll be a little telling which joint's being stressed. Uh, you don't want to do that. Also, when you're holding this, you want to cradle it in the arm. I won't be able to do this for this particular video, but generally that's how I like to do it. And if we take a look, you see these two buttons here? The green ones like the right and the left button most, or left button on your mouse. So normally what I would do, if I had this, I would cradle this into here, and then have it and click on my right mouse and my left mouse to maneuver and touch off on our probes. So what we're talking about today are our angle blocks or angled parallels depending on who you're talking to. Okay before we get started after we have the system up and running we need to switch from metric to imperial. So you go to this little star like thing here the quick preferences and then what you want to do is switch this guy over to inches. For what we're doing here, we're only reading angles, so it's not that big of a deal because we're actually reading an angle. But if we were doing lengths, we would want to make sure that it's in inches. And then when we're done, click on this guy here and it shrinks down. And then we can start our inspection plan. We're going to set all three of them up at the same time. We want to push them up against a wall and up against a wall. You can put them in one at a time or all together. This is a test demo, I've done this a few times already, so I know they're relatively accurate. And then turn your magnet on. Make sure they're semi-stable. These magnet, this magnet's not particularly strong. <clears throat> now, this is gonna be the base. This is going to be your top view. And then this is going to be your back view. Okay, so now that we've opened this up, I want to run my template. So now it tells me we're working on base because base is highlighted. So I need to touch off on the base. I'm going to touch off at at least four points, but you can touch off on as many points as you want. So I'm going to grab it. I'm not going to cradle it because uh, you can't see it in the video. I'm down on the actual surface. I'm going to touch with the green. See it went well, one point. One point, one point, one point, one point, one point. Up off of the, the plane that you are on. Up, and then just click red. Boom, and you have your top surface. Now it's asking me for the 15 degree top. So top view 15 degrees is here. So I'm gonna go click, 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 click. Then straight above that one. Then it's asking me for the 30 top. I'm going to go click, 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 click. Go above, red, 
I'm going to go, instead of saying click, click, that's asking me for 45. I'm going to go green button, green button, green button, green button, green, 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 and then above, red. So that's all of those ones. Now it's saying, give me the back of 15. So I'm going to come to here, so you guys can see this, and I'm going to touch on the back surface. I want to go at least four. Two, three, four, green, or red, red to green. Now it's asking for the back of 30. Now you're saying, well, Ray, wouldn't they all be the same? No, they're all individual pieces. So now they're asking me for the back of the 45. And that's it. This is your report here. You can scroll through. Print report. And then you print the report. Ideally, we will have this set up to print in the, in the computer lab. And it'll come right out. You put your name on it. You hand that in with your parts and your, and your check sheet. And we're all good to go. I hope that that helps. Hopefully you've picked up a tidbit or two from this video. If you enjoyed the video, even if you didn't, please like and subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out. Just click on the icon on my face and I'll do the rest. And have a great night. Take care.